Good morning, parents. This is Mary Keenly, principal of St. Teresa School, just with a quick update and reminder about the events that will be occurring between now and the restarting of school in January. I hope you are all having a glorious Advent. It is no coincidence that right here in the middle of Advent, we celebrate the great Feast of the Immaculate Conception. On this day, the church remembers that exactly nine months before the Nativity of Mary, which occurs on September 8th, that Our Lady was conceived cleanly without the stain of original sin on her soul in the womb of her mother, Anne. It is this that is preparing Mary for her great yes to the will of God and to be the Theotokos, the God-bearer, as she becomes the mother of God, which we will celebrate on Christmas. So tomorrow, Thursday, December 8th, we will be having Mass with the children at 8 a.m. in the church. Please come and join us. Add to your Advent prayer your time of preparation for Christmas, celebrating this great Feast of the Immaculate Conception. There's also Mass tonight at 7 o'clock or at 6.30 in the morning if this 8 o'clock time doesn't work great for you. But we would love for you to come, and we're moving over and making room for you at, at Mass tomorrow at 8 a.m. to celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. We will be closing for Christmas break on Wednesday, December the 21st, but notice this change. We are closing at 1.30 p.m., not 2.30, 1.30. The attire for the day for the both students and staff is Christmas dress up, that we're going to wear our Christmas attire and look really fine on this last day as we celebrate together and we go to pray our Advent prayer. Again, school will be closing at 1.30. Everybody's leaving, including the staff, at 1.30. There are no step and no after-school activities as we close for the celebration of Christmas on Wednesday, December the 21st. As is our custom on the last day of school before Christmas, we will be celebrating together in Advent prayer. The preschool pageant will be at 9 a.m. in the church. Preschool parents, please watch for information from the preschool team. The rest of the school will gather at 1230 for Advent prayer in the main church. This time of prayer will be led by the kindergarten, joined this year by first, second, and third grades. Everyone is invited to come and pray with us as we begin our Christmas break and prepare for the coming of the Christ child in just a very few short days. Parents, if you come, please sit in the center pews. We will also be live streaming for grandparents and others that aren't able to attend, but we encourage you to come in person and see it live. After our time of prayer, the kids can go home with you. You just have to walk back to collect their backpacks from their classrooms and check out with their classroom teacher. We will also have regular dismissal at 1.30 following the regular procedures. I hope you can join us for prayer preschool at nine everybody else at 12.30, both in the church. While we prepare our hearts for the coming of the Christ child on Christmas, there is still a lot going on here at school. First and foremost is the living of Advent. Represented by the large Advent candles on the chapel wall, we are thinking of others preparing our hearts and telling our Lord how we want to greet him on Christmas, open, willing, with great charity. Come check it out. It's pretty cool to see what the kids are doing and how the spirit of prayer has enlivened our school. We are also thinking of others in our actions. We have several drives going on right now, the mitten tree this week, which this year has a nice bent to it. We are also collecting socks, underwear, and t-shirts for the Journey Center down the street that take care of the homeless in this area. We are also remembering our homeless teens with a special Change for Change drive this Friday. You can donate both gift cards or cash to the Change for Change activity, um, and which will all, be, we did, all will be donated to the homeless teen uh, drive here in the parish. We also have the traditional parish giving tree where we sponsor families in the community who can't celebrate Christmas by themselves. You can join as a single family or gather several families together and sponsor a family and give gifts and make their Christmases extra special. That is in the parish vestibule. We also are taking time to enjoy this time of preparation for Christmas, uh, buying gifts for our families in Santa's secret shop this week, 
enjoying a little comfort with the student council or their hot chocolate sale. There was one today, and I believe there's another one coming up next week. Next week, we're finally breaking out and getting some field trips on the calendar. Hooray! On December 15th, a group of students will be going to see a Christmas carol at Cutting Hall. I believe that's first, fourth, fifth, and seventh grades. And finally, just some throwing in some Christmas fun, an ugly Christmas sweater contest sponsored by the Stuco on Monday, December the 19th. Some of you have asked about details regarding the Christmas parties in the classrooms. Well, we don't have Christmas parties in the classrooms at, in this season for the simple reason that it's not Christmas yet. It's Advent, and we really try to live Advent well, preparing for the coming of Christmas in just a couple short weeks. I invite you to come and live Advent with us, and instead of the parties, come to Advent prayer. In addition to a great way to prepare your hearts for Advent and giving great example to your children, it is just a positively delightful time of prayer and really anxious preparations for the coming of Christmas. So no Christmas parties. Join us for, for Advent prayer on the 21st at 1230 in the church. So Christmas is on its way, and our parish offers us several ways to prepare for Christmas as well. Our parish mission will be this Tuesday, December 13th at 7 o'clock in the main church. Father Tim will be the main preacher, and the music will be exceptional as we bring our hearts toward the nativity, towards the manger, where Christ will be laying in just a few short days. The parish mission will begin at 7 p.m. in the church, and I hope you can attend. The parish will also be offering the great sacrament of Christ's mercy, the sacrament of reconciliation. That will be on Tuesday, December the 20th, also in the church. It's a great opportunity to cleanse our hearts, just like our second graders did this past Monday. So wonderful and enlightened they felt as they left the confessionals. Haven't been to confession in a long time? No worries. It's even better if you have a lot to talk about with the priest. So come to the Great Sacrament of Reconciliation on December 20th right here in our parish. Masses in our parish for Christmas will be on Christmas Eve, the Vigil Mass, on Saturday, both at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., the traditional Mass at midnight, and then on Sunday, Christmas Day, at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 noon. School will resume on Monday, January 9th, after we celebrate Christmas. We will at that time be getting re-enrollment for next year, and in fact, the, no the notice of tuition will be going out actually this Friday. Right when we come back, we will continue with our iReady assessment for the second assessment, and this is a really important time because we will be measuring children's growth in this assessment. Watch for information about your child's growth coming home both from the school and from your child's teacher. We're also excited that we will be announcing the opening of our new chapel right here in the school building. The furniture is going to be delivered during Christmas break, and so we will have that ready to be blessed and start using bringing our Lord with the celebration of Mass and then having our Lord with us in the tabernacle following that. Watch for information about that coming. At the end of the month, we will be celebrating Catholic Schools Week with our annual Mass and Open House. Mass will be at 11.30 a.m. on Sunday, January 28th, and the Open House will be following Mass. So stay tuned for more information about the after-break activities. As Advent continues, this Sunday we celebrate Gaudete Sunday. It is the third Sunday of Advent, exactly the half point in Advent, especially this year, when we stop and we rejoice, if we were talking to the kids, we would say we get the wiggles out. We're so excited about the coming of our Lord that our church pauses for a second and to rejoice and to celebrate together. Rejoice, the time is near, the coming of the Christ. Mass in our church will be at 5 p.m. on Saturday, 7, 8.30, 10, and 11.30 on Sunday. I hope you can come and celebrate this great Sunday of Advent with us. The Adoration Chapel will also be open, as it always is, aside the main church. You can come anytime and pray. So come celebrate. Turn your hearts towards our Lord this Sunday on Gaudete Sunday. So as we prepare for the coming of Christmas, both in our activities and our hearts, I hope you guys are doing really well and excited for this time together with your family 
and the beginning of the redemption story coming very soon on Christmas Day. Have a great day. Hope to see you very soon.